guys, welcome back to my channel. Boop, 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 boop. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been so good to see you. Uh, is this a juicy starter? Hey. Okay? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a minute as per usual. And actually, you know, I was speaking to a friend and I was telling them how bad I feel about not being consistent on YouTube. And she said like that, I am living my life. And that was so comforting. That was so comforting to know that I'm truly living my life and not everything has to be on camera all the time. So I don't feel so bad. Um, but I miss you guys so much and I'm back. Um, it was quite a hectic topic. Um, it's a bit of a trigger for me, um, but I don't want it to be a trigger. And I'm speaking about it because um, I want awareness to come to the topic and um, for people that have gone through the same thing to sort of just know, you know, that's what's happening out here in the world. So, yeah, grab yourself a cup of coffee, a cup of juice, a cup of something nice. And yeah, I'm going to have my friend also join me in a bit. Um, because she's a very big part of the story um, and she helped me but I think because the first part of the story is just what I went through and then I'll bring her in and we can have um, a whole chat on yeah our thoughts around this topic so the topic really is I mean the title is my cult story so I'm talking about the cult that I nearly got in <laughs> like in 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 um, I was in it temporarily and um, the whole point of this video really, really, guys, is to just bring awareness, um, number one. Number two is for those that have um, experienced something like this, to know that they're really not alone and that they can speak up <laughs> um, because, yeah, this is something that really um, shook me, um, especially those that are in the faith. And as a Christian and having to experience being in the cult, um, yeah, it has had impact in my journey, in my faith journey. It has such, yeah, it's been very, very, very hectic. <laughs> um, but obviously, yeah, it's been, it's been a while that this has happened and I've grown so much for it, from it. And I've been meaning to, to do this video for the longest time. And I'm glad that my friend is here as well, like I said, and she'll also come and just um, speak on this. But... Man, um, I'm going to try to be as brief as possible. Um, but again, just bear in mind that this whole point is to, um, if anyone has experienced this or may possibly experience this, just to be on your guard, right? And just to be aware, really vigilant um, of what can happen to anyone. It can This can happen to anyone because these cow people be so good. <laughs> they know what they're doing they know what they're doing and um yeah they the human engineering the psyche behind what they do um they've done it for many years so they know what's how to be successful in what they do right so that's me bringing awareness right anyway so how it started is that um when i moved to cape town so this is as i moved to cape town this happened the first year that i was actually moving uh, living in cape town and um, my friend that's going to join me now, she was the only real friend that I had in Cape Town at the time. Um, so I was also open just to meeting new people. Obviously, you move to a new city, you're new to the area, you're new to the place. So you also want to know, you know, my friend had just moved to Cape Town. So <laughs> she's also figuring out Cape Town. So obviously, you also want to know people from Cape Town you know, that can also tell you more about the city or where to go, you know, where the places to go and stuff like that and so forth. So I met this girl and I actually met her at another Christian event and um, we had, we clicked, you know, we had a chat and we clicked and I found out that she was working 
um, at the time where I was doing, um, where I was working, doing my internship. And I was like, oh, you're from the same place. You're a Christian. I mean, you've been in Cape Town for so many years. And at, and I don't know if you're still a YouTuber, because I don't follow her anymore. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And she was also in the, in the content creating space, you know, a Christian YouTuber. So I could relate to her a lot. And we truly, truly clicked. And we, um, we became such friends. Um, and I remember at some point my grandfather, my mom's um, father passed away and I mean, she was just doing the worst, you know, she was bringing me flowers and um, writing me long cards of comfort and I was like, oh man, I've got myself another amazing friend, you know, and we clicked. So my point is that, you know, she was really there for me and, and at tough times as well, fine. And at some point she told me that she has a mentor. And she wants me to meet her mentor. And I said, I mean, if you're talking mentor, all of us, you want mentors. You want to be mentored by people that have walked this journey, you know, ahead of us and know more. Obviously, are you talking mentor? Are you talking my language? Um, so I was like, I'm so happy to meet your mentor and have a chat. I, meant to, I met her mentor. And um, we actually continued to have meetings with her mentor. And they, the mentor came with a... Um, a focus of like purpose like all our chats are regarding you know reaching your destiny getting your purpose and and figuring all of that out and especially in your 20s um that's all that you are about right you're focusing on defining defining your purpose and so obviously they're coming with that chat and i'm super keen super keen about that so anyway we start meeting it was every Thursday we would meet this man. So it was my friend, my new friend from Cape Town. He's just so amazing. And her mentor, who's sort of kind of now my mentor too, right? And so we're meeting every Thursday, meeting con consecutively, you know, every Thursday for a while. And I, I found those, it was fruitful because obviously we're talking positive things. We're going back into our our history and our, you know, as kids growing up, our childhood and how that's affecting, you know. So it was, it was like another therapy session, truly. And I, I was like, this is cool, you know, it's cool, it's cool stuff. I'm with it, I'm with it, I'm with it. Fine. Time went by and the mentor introduced that there's a bigger group. So she told us that um, there's a bigger group that we can meet that are about the same conversation, that are about the same agenda, and um, it's important for me to meet them and grow with the bigger team as well, so that you can also go and continue to mentor others. Made sense to me. Let me meet the new group. So this now bigger group that she was referring to, um, they met every Saturday in Cape Town CBD. And um, yeah. So this was towards the end of the first year that I was in Cape Town. So it was, it was coming towards December. Um, and this is very important because this is where my friend comes in. <laughs> so um, now it's Saturdays. Now I meet the new group. So for me, the first kind of red flag, and this is where bring your all, all your attention. The first red flag was when I entered this um, new new people, new new community, really, um, of the same, you know, congregation. I don't know, there's not, there not even a name for them. Um, when I met these new people that are of the same purpose, um, the first red flag for me was that they had a book already with my name. And I was like, who told you my name? <laughs> and, okay, but it's okay. But it was just weird. It was just a weird vibe for me. That gave me a book. And they were like, I'm going to make all my notes in this book. And with this book, this book doesn't leave this place. It stays here. Okay, fine. I mean, you guys have your rules. You have your laws. This book stays here. Okay. And then the second red flag for me, if you guys know, I love, you know, content. I love recording. If I'm having a, a new experience, a positive experience, I want to share that. So for me, this was such a positive experience and I wanted to take out my camera, do an Insta story and share with other people that, hey, they're actually people with the same mind. Um, and apparently, another rule of theirs was that you're not allowed to record. No one can see what's going on here. And then I said, nah. I said, no, no. It's giving another second red flag, right? Anyway, um, 
so like i said this is coming towards december so i was i was already feeling some type of way and it was so hectic for like difficult for me is the word brother because i was enjoying this i was learning so much but at the same time there were these red flags that were coming up okay so december comes my friends from joe come and visit um in cape town right and obviously i'm the host my friend who's gonna you're gonna see now for me we're the host because we're living in cape town our friends coming to coming to visit us and we have to be we're there we they for they're there for vacation we're all on vacation we're there for a good time so this saturday comes and um i tell the people i, I can't i'm not gonna make it my friends are here on holiday and um yeah sorry see you guys next time oh no guys they did not give me a chance they were like you have to be here there's no excuse you will see your friends your friends are going nowhere anyway the level of manipulation in this thing is that yeah i ended up saying okay i'm coming i left my friends and they continued to have a good time and i went for this it was sort of like a class also it was like a class it was like a lesson and i went to cape town cbd um and my friends continued with their vacation and i was upset because i'm like why can't you guys understand that i'm not committed to this so much that i can't spend time with my in december it's holidays it's holidays but we're going and learning learning about papers through the bible by the way this is very bible centered people right my phone by barely okay fine so that saturday happens right the next Saturday, remember, it's still December vibes, it's festival time. So my cousin, another cousin of mine comes to um, Cape Town for the weekend and I'm hosting her again. So I call them and I tell them, I'm sorry, my cousin is here. I'm not going to be able to make it again. <laughs> so they literally on my neck about it and they're like, you, we told you this. You can't miss a lesson. You have to come. And I was so upset. So my friend, we were beating somewhere, right? But my friend now, who's going to join me now, it's for me and you must come. Um, <laughs> and she was, we were going with my friends from there um, to my country. So all three of us were going to go and, you know, have a good time wherever we were going. Um, but this is where my friend's going to come in because this is where she comes in the whole story. But what happened was that um, she was upset. She was like, because she was there the weekend before with my friends from Drupal, and she was saying, what, why are these people, like, they want to give you a break? Who are these people? Literally, she was like, who are these people? Why don't they want to give you a break? Tell me from the beginning. I wanted to hear this whole story. Like, because she was, she was asking me, like, who are these new people? Who are your friends so much, you know? Um, and I told her the whole story. As I was speaking, this is my friends for me, but you guys already know. Um, yeah. I you've been friends. Yeah, you've been here, yeah, definitely. If you go back, if you go back to my concert, you've definitely been You're around. <laughs> so literally, we were, so, yes, we were in Cape Town. And as I was saying, we were literally sitting like this. I mean, you were driving. The Merc. Hey, guys, so something I make in Cape Town. Is anyway, this part of the concert? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so anyway, as I was saying, I, I, I tell you the whole yeah. story. So you, you're so frustrated. Like, what, what made you frustrated? Well, you're being sus, first mm, of all. I was being sus. <laughs> I think the, the the important thing to remember is that you were trying not to say what's going on because they keep emphasizing that other people shouldn't really no. have a full picture of what's going on. That's so true. So we have a very close relationship, mm. and you, you, Lisa doesn't say such things. You know, mm. like she's saying, like I have to go meet these people. I'm like, who are these people? Mm. Why don't they have a name? Where are they? Like, can't I go drop you off and pick you? like what? And also, why are we meeting them? Mid nice time. Hello. <laughs> like mid the good we're having She's this talking about time. elect I don't okay, wait, context. It is the fifth or the sixth or something of December. We are at the beach, we're having fun. Nice Lisa's time. talking about going to, to a go. lecture. Hello? Hi. What lecture is this <laughs> in December? Okay. And it's about the Bible. It was very strange. It was very strange. Mm. And I think eventually I was just like, Okay, what's happening? What's going on? Yeah. Like, she literally was like, Okay, okay. <laughs> Tell me from the very yeah, beginning. Like, so as I've told you on? yeah, as I've told you guys the story is what i told her and then she was like hold up mm -hmm. so i was fortunate and again this goes back to you have to be open with people and have very close relationships with human beings and mm. have people that you really trust mm. i was fortunate enough to have a friend who had shared a very similar story to what lisa was saying and i was like wait you said these people do what mm -hmm. and they what what is no this doesn't sound right like this doesn't sound right at all and i feel like i've heard the story before mm. so i actually think it happened on the same day i was mm. like 
let's let's call, call this them. person now. right now and we called him up and we're like yo dude i was like listen <laughs> i was like listen that story you told me about like three months ago um i think he says <laughs> and, <laughs> and he was like wait what and i was like no and i we explained the whole thing and even he was a bit skeptical to talk about it because mm. the people are shady the whole thing felt a little bit mm. darkish so he was mm. like are you sure she's going through it are you like le- i'm yeah. like so this is my friend friend you can talk freely mm. let's exactly. have a conversation yeah and um yeah you guys had the conversation and he was like is the name this and yeah. are they so yeah. he was asking now the saturday people he yeah because the saturday people have like leaders it's like yeah. it's like a different cell group than you guys you first have your class and you break out into different classes I'm a, I'm a cell group so he was asking your friend was saying who are the who are, give me the names of, of the, the leaders people, so after yeah. i told him the whole story he's like okay Yo, <laughs> give me give me the names of the leaders, and then I told him, and he, he was, was like, like mm, "It's the one." He was like, "I'm so sorry to tell you this. <laughs> <laughs> it's the He's one. Like, You're gonna need to block everyone there." Yeah, and he was like, "I'm gonna give you the name of this cult. Mm. I want you to go read up on it, mm-hmm. and then heal, <laughs> <laughs> and take time, and, and take time. Except that this so, happened to you, yeah." Yeah, so I mean, obviously, so remember, we were, May came to fetch me, and we were still going to see my cousin, we were going out. Mm. Um, so we went out, but when I got back, friend, yeah. I remembered, okay, let, let, let's get into this, because yeah. I've been given now, what is this cult's name? It's called Shin Chinji. Mm. Hey, that's another whole topic, yeah. but it's, it's, it's like an, a whole different... Yeah, I'll get different into that. Walking. They believe in, they believe, they, they, they... They changed the revelations and they say there's a Jesus that's on earth. His, ma- his name is Lee Man He. Lee Man He, something like that. Mm. Um, but anyway, anyway, before we get into that, it's just a whole cult, cult guys, and they use the Bible, but they perverse it so much yeah, to yeah. make it their own agenda, right? Yeah. And they have a Jesus that's on earth. It's like, anyway. Um, so I come back, I read up on it, mm-hmm. and I'm like, hey, I blocked everyone. He was like, what is this? Yeah. Um, but I think the point of this is that, like you're saying, there are weird people out here. <laughs> strange. Very weird strange. people, very yeah. wicked. And I think, like how you're saying, it's so important to have your people that you're open about. Yeah. Um, and if you if someone is really being like weird or acting weird, yeah. Um, to be like, what's going on? Mm. And know your friends' whereabouts as well. Mm. That's very important to. I mean. The story, the story that Lisa was telling me, I when when my my other friend, the one that I connected them with, mm. when he was telling me the story again, he was also just sharing, just being open, mm. just being a friend, mm. and saying, "Listen, this thing happened to me." He's talking about his journey, him being in Cape Town, and how the first couple of months were rough, and how mm. you know he got involved in this thing, and yeah. and he was telling me about it. At the time, I knew nothing about it, but mm. he was just being open and 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 sharing experiences, mm. and him sharing that experience. Somehow, you know, I remembered it and then it linked back to exactly. your experience and it saved Lisa in, in her it having did. to go down this whole long journey yeah. and him being open to talk to Lisa about it. So I think the whole point of it is, first of all, share. <laughs> oh, so sh- yeah. And also your friends, people, and the thing is now, I couldn't believe that this girl, that, not you, friend, because I was like, ah, but I got other friends. Yeah, yeah, so like, this, 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 she's getting this, flowers this, and notes. I'm like, I'm like, bro, who? Who but I think it's also like your friends, because now this was my friend, like I was yeah, like, telling you guys, she was my person. I couldn't believe that because so she's actually part of this cult, and what they do is that um, they they literally um, recruit people. Yeah. Is the word I want to see. They recruit they recruit people into this. So she's yeah. already in this cult, but she recruited me, um, knowing this whole time. Yeah. This is their training when they recruit people into this cult, and you end up doing all these these classes these courses and then you graduate mm. um and then you serve this this jesus that they have that they have interpreted very weirdly by yeah. revelations on earth and it, it, it's just a, it's a cult it's the point and it's so easy for people to get drawn into this they are targeting young people yeah they are targeting people that are of the faith oh if you're new to a city yeah so they target you if you are young number one and obviously you also it's i mean they're positive that like i said they're a because they want you to 
Because you've had your purpose in your 20s. Yeah, you yes, want to figure yeah. that out. So they repeat you because you're young. They repeat if you're new to a city and you're trying to get friends. Because obviously that one friend is going to be the best friend. Mm. And then, yeah. And you're passionate and you like you're saying, like passionate and you want to find your purpose. Mm. And, and you're about, you're about yeah, the faith. You're about the faith, you're about growth, it's you're about all of those things. Because yeah. that's the one thing um, you and my other friend had in common is mm. that both very ambitious and mm. wanting to do stuff so can easily be mm. like in this whole thing of finding your purpose and what does God want you to do and and so forth um, and the other thing is that they are super 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 intentional about really getting under your skin and feeling like um, a, you guys are close close you guys are friends mm. this is what I wanted to mention when you were having your doubts because she was already in the cult when Lisa was like Hey, why can't we like take the book home? Mm. She works in dismissing your doubts. Exactly. Exactly. Right? That's, that's her job. That's her job. That's, that's her why job. you get close and whenever, you have to trust. Whenever her, I have my stuff. doubts, she'll be like, But God is speaking to you. God has put us yes, together. Yes, God has yes, made us yes, friends. Yes. And you think, Yes, because you I'm your grandfather passed away, you were there for me with flowers. <laughs> yeah, and exactly. you're just like and he's like, Oh God brought me into your life. And they'll do the most and exactly. They, whenever I have my questions, and I'd be like, this, this is dodgy. Yeah, so she'll be like, no, right. yeah, it's fine. I mean, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. We're together and that's just the this. manipulative mm. nature of... We're together in this. So, yeah, guys, this... Um, first, you know, thank you, that's Pumetia, because she saved me out of this. Because if it wasn't for our in the car chat, and you'd be yeah. like, okay, well, what the heck is going on? Yeah. I don't know how far I would have gone, friend. Because I, I would have... about that. I, would have, I don't know how far I would have <laughs> yeah, gone. Yeah, I would have gone very far. It, yeah, it's just so. Yeah, those are the lessons yeah. really share, and um, I'm so grateful for you. But yeah, we're very grateful for each other in many ways. <laughs> she was the MC at my wedding, <laughs> and I told her oh, Lord. I didn't have it because I'm like, oh yeah, I need an MC for the wedding. I told her, didn't I? Tell you, I, I can't believe it. Before. I can't. Be, she never gets said, over the story. I said, yeah, I, I can't. can't I don't get over because I told you like ten minutes before, <laughs> and I said, I said, ma'am. You can't answer We me have though. to go do this now. You're, you're the best person to do this. So she emceed our whole wedding. After I arrived the day before. Anyway. Yeah. So truly, guys, in, in summary of this whole video and the point of this video is that these are the lessons, right? Yeah. Number one, don't trust anyone. <laughs> no, I'm one. dragging that. <laughs> no, um, just be, just be, question things. Yeah. I think if, if, especially something new and you really question things yourself, yeah. self, before a friend comes into the picture, question things genuinely. Yeah. Um, and think about things and yeah, do your research about what are you getting involved in, truly. Mm -hmm. um, number two, if someone is telling you to not, you can't be open about something. If someone yeah. is, is um, isolating you in any form, any toxic form, it's any just, any it is, form. if anyone is isolating you, and she, oh, a red flag. <laughs> Biggest Very, red it's a, flag. It's such a red flag. Relationships, anything. Yeah. Um, and to really have people that you speak to. I think it's important that you really have people that you can speak to about stuff. Yeah, about and everything. About everything, yeah. And you know that they won't judge you or they won't... You can openly speak to them. So that's important to cultivate those relationships. Yeah. And to be able to speak to some people about anything. Um. What are you thinking? Yeah, you mentioned everything. I think, mm -hmm. yeah, I think the whole talking to people is very important. Mm -hmm. um, the minute you can't say something, that's weird. Mm -hmm. And even if you take it back to scripture, that's like against the Bible. Yeah. Literally, the Bible goes and says, go and make disciples of the nation, go and share. That she's supposed to go and talk to mm -hmm. people about your experiences. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, isolation, not sharing, having to be private about anything, mm -hmm. that is literally going against mm -hmm. the word of God. So... Mm -hmm. And I, and I think ultimately what I've, I've had many thoughts about this maybe in yeah. future videos depend, please ask questions and comment and if you've experienced yeah. this explain but I think for me it's, permits, it's really emphasized my personal relationship with God yeah. I think we focus so much on like we go to church and it's a community all the yes, time and yes, then that's, yes, yes, you want yeah. to need community but really focusing and really cultivating your personal relationship with God we speak about this all the time yeah. the difference between religion and being a christian yeah, yeah. and spirituality and all of that but God, yeah. personal and work that out it says we need to work out our salvation with fear and trembling that's mm. you on yourself you know um i always that's say right. yeah i always yeah. say one day you will you will account for your life yeah. <laughs> so you'll tell god me and you've been doing this like this yeah. so it's really personal and um yeah 
yeah i think my last point is just like and don't think it's not going to be you right mm. like i think a lot of things we wake up too late because you're like nobody can trick me mm. what nobody can trick me so don't think it's going to be you i think that's why again going back to the point of having shared things with other people so that other people can be like no mm. no don't sound right right mm. you know mm. so don't think it's not gonna be you don't think of i mean there are so many cults connor the mother god and all these other things and they mm. stop people on the road and they do all sorts of things mm. they hypnotize you mm. they do a lot of things mm. literally the only thing that can ever really help you is to share things with other people and yeah. not think who I'm too smart. It's never gonna happen to mm. me. Not I'm. No. Oh my God. I can't tell you. This is how did this there. happen to me? Like what? Like, so don't think it's not gonna happen to you. Child. They're out for yeah everyone. Yeah everyone. Everyone. Thanks, friend. Thank you yeah. for being here. Um. See you guys in my next video. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe if you haven't. I've always wanted to say and that. Do it. Say it. <laughs> you didn't even pause. Say it again. I'm joking. I'm joking. Say it. Okay. Right. Anyway, do so and uh, <laughs> yeah, it will depend if we can we continue this chat. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's a lot on this. It's a lot. It's a lot to unpack. In fact, there's a lot to unpack because it happened a while ago and mm. yeah, it's it's very traumatic. But yeah, it's a lot to unpack. But yeah, this is this is basically it. Anyway, from Spumer and I. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Be watch. Be watch. <laughs> <laughs> is the point and it's so easy for people to get drawn into this they are targeting young people yeah they are targeting people that are of the faith and they're targeting um what you said black people black it, it is kind of does it have white people it does it does. you can say that it definitely has white people <laughs> I don't know how to create I don't know how to do these content things that's ever <laughs> stress.